Well, there's always a question for human beings, and sometimes it's not very prominent, especially when you are young, as to what happens at death. I mean, nothing. Uh, and uh, it's at any rate going to be a bit traumatic, you would think. And uh, of course, I'm getting a bit older now, so <laughs> I feel a little bit closer. And uh, the question is, would people uh, be religious if, uh, if it weren't for dying? Well, I agree that dying is one of the components of people's reflection about the world and goes very deeply, often, into their religious uh, feelings. But, um, uh, and, and of course it does become a big issue. Uh, of course, the, by the way, the answers of religions are rather different. I mean, you could believe, if you're a Buddhist or a Hindu, you will believe that you're reborn. So when you die, you become some other creature. You might become a human being again, though that's not likely, according to most accounts, but still, you might, or you might become some other kind of creature. Well, uh, or you could believe in the resurrection of the dead, as in the Christian tradition, and one or two other traditions too. Uh, you are sort of reconstituted, uh, as they say. Uh, again, uh, I'm not sure whether though, I, I just say this, I don't know that it's the dominant concern as to uh, rebirth for two reasons. Well, it's not dominant in all religions, let me say that. And uh, I have two reasons. One is <laughs> an account of an uncle of my wife's. My wife is Italian from North Italy. And we had a very ancient uncle of hers. And uh, the year before he died, I talked to him about religion. Uh, he was a faithful Catholic, as they say. He used to go to Mass every Sunday. And I said, well, what do you believe about heaven? And he said, well, I don't believe all that stuff. And I said, well, but look, you're a good Catholic, how come you go to church? Well, he said, priests should tell that to the young. But when you get to my age, it becomes irrelevant. And uh, so I, <laughs> I began to ponder that thought. I mean, he uh, was in a way reconciled to his world, and whatever happened didn't really matter very much to him. Well, I thought that was an interesting saying, as I was at that time fairly young myself. Uh, the second reason is a more theoretical one, which is that if you, uh, if you take uh, Buddhism, for example, you should, and the same is true in Christianity, though with a different flavor, you shouldn't be concerned with yourself all the time. Uh, I mean, we naturally have to be selfish in order to survive, but uh, aren't we over preoccupied with ourselves? And isn't belief in, uh, in uh, going to heaven or surviving itself a sort of selfish concern for the future? So I think that's another factor in religion. But I don't deny that it is, for some people, quite important.